All right, uh, let's look at an example of practical resonance frequency. All right, so here's the equation given. Uh, x double prime plus 2x prime plus 26x is equal to 82 cosine of omega t. All right, so uh, let's identify um, uh, m, uh, c, k, and f of 0. All right, so m is just a number in front of x um, double prime. So this is the our m value. So m is 1. All right, and the c value is the, the coefficient of uh, x prime. So c is equal to 2. And then 26 is the k value. And then 82 is our f sub 0. All right. So we got the, all those values, right? And the C of W uh, from the previous uh, video, uh, it came out to be uh, here, all right? So we want to maximize the uh, uh, amplitude function C of omega, which is equal to uh, F of zero over square root of uh, K minus uh, M omega squared, a uh, quantity squared, plus C omega quantity squared. All right, so uh, let's uh, uh, plug in all the given values in there. All right, so you're going to get all right, uh, F0 is um, uh, 82. So you're going to have 82 on top over uh, square root of. All right, so K is 26. So you have a 26 minus, right, uh, m is 1, so it's uh, just uh, omega squared, squared, right, and plus uh, c is 2, so that's going to be uh, uh, 2 omega squared, right, so we want to maximize this, right, but to make uh, our life, uh, life easier, uh, to maximize this fraction, uh, I'm going to try to uh, minimize the denominator of the fraction because the numerator is a constant, so it never changes. So I'm going to try to find the smallest possible denominator. Right? So I'm going to change this problem to, so uh, we want to minimize uh, this function. I'm going to call it uh, f of uh, omega which is just a denominator. So it's a square root of, actually, oh, uh, actually, I'm going to just uh, 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 to minimize the inside the square root because the square root doesn't really matter. So it's going to have uh, 26 minus uh, omega squared squared is a plus uh, 2. Actually, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and write it as um, uh, 4, because 2 squared is 4, omega squared. All right, so let's minimize this uh, this function here. All right, uh, let's do a little bit of calculus. Uh, in order to find uh, um, uh, omega that minimize this function, I'm going to look for critical numbers. All right, so you can see that uh, f prime of omega is equal to, all right, so put 2 in front. Uh, keep the same inside function as it is. Subtract 1 from the power, which is 1, and multiply by, uh, I'm not going to actually write that because it looks like prime, and uh, then derivative of inside, which is a negative 2 omega, right? Plus derivative of 4 omega squared would be uh, 8 omega, right? Then uh, we can simply uh, try to factor things out, and the since uh, so that uh, we can simplify it. All right? What's in common? Uh, we can see that uh, there's going to be uh, let's see, there's uh, two here, and there's uh, two here. So eight is um, so eight is um, uh, four times two. So I'm going to pull out four. So I'm going to pull out 4 here, right? So that will take care of 4 here and the 2 there and the 2 there. 
and also there is uh, omega here so omega there so I'm gonna pull out the omega All right and what's left is going to be let's see there's a negative sign here negative so I'm gonna apply to uh, negative omega square so you have a omega squared uh, minus 26 and then we're gonna have plus uh, plus 2 from the second term All right so that will take care of uh, all these guys with the negative sign and uh, uh, 2 is taken care of All right so this is going to be uh, equal to uh, full omega and we have uh, omega squared minus 24 all right then uh, we can uh, factor this out so you can see that that's going to be full omega all right so you can think of it as difference of squares so you have oops sorry um, omega minus square root of 24 uh, times omega plus square root of 24 is equal to 0. So you can see that, that this is a critical number. It's going to be uh, omega equal to 0, which is not quite what we're looking for. And it's going to be a plus or minus uh, square root of uh, 24 right and uh, you can see that uh, here uh, since we're looking for um, a practical uh, resonance uh, frequency uh, zero isn't going to be the one we're looking for right and uh, we're looking for the um, uh, square root of 24 right so um, we have we're going to just take the positive one so this is the practical resonance uh, frequency since uh, this omega is going to minimize uh, this uh, f function which is the uh, which is sitting on the denominator so smallest the denominator gives you the largest fraction so this uh, omega will uh, maximize uh, c of omega function so you have the largest possible amplitude uh, for the solution, right? Uh, a steady periodic solution anyway. Uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.